As you know, we're working so closely with the farmers across the country, just devastating stories we're just mm. continuing to hear. We've had the floods, the droughts, the fires, the pandemic. It just doesn't stop. No, unfortunately, I, I wish it would. Um, we've probably had one of the biggest 12 months ever. Um, we're certainly slammed in terms of calls for help for volunteers um, and also for funds. It's It's been one major disaster after another. Um, in the last 12 months, we've had what the, the worst drought in uh, Australian recorded history, the most devastating bushfire season, um, two major flood events and storms, um, and we've even got a mouse plague. Because there'd been quite a few green shoots and there still are in some places with uh, regional areas. Um, you know, the rain actually helped for a long part of uh, the time in many, many regions. Look, that, I think that's the biggest uh, heartbreak, I think, for some of the farmers that we're dealing with at the moment, is that they had a good season after the drought. Um, and a lot of it's just now destroyed. So it's, it's hard uh, emotionally to keep coming back from one devastation after another. It certainly is. Regional Health and Communications Minister Mark Coulton will be assessing the flood damage around the Moree region. We're just seeing you know, some vision there now. I mean, they had time to prepare, lift up their furniture and so forth. But, you know, as we're seeing, like just some people were just absolutely inundated. Yeah, completely. We've actually had um, just to maybe highlight some of those issues. We've had one... Um, gorgeous farmer who we've been dealing with to help rebuild from fires, he decided to move. Um, he's a rural fire service, uh, so was helping combat other pe save other people's houses. Uh, and he moved and now is uh, rescuing people from floodwaters uh, and his house has now been inundated by mice from the mice plague. So it's not, it's not just one um, disaster that is, it's hard. That's the hardest, it's its emotionally hard to continue to try and rebuild from these things. Yeah, and it's interesting, isn't it, because we're a vast country, uh, Dorothy McKellar's uh, uh, poem sort of suits it, doesn't it, mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, seeing the extremes of the weather. There are still many parts of the country in drought. Tell us a bit more of that about that. Yeah, well, we've still got uh, people who are got water shortages at this point in time, which I just find amazing when you look across and we're dealing with um, floods um, and evacuating people from what is the you know a one in a hundred event. So we some properties who are still experiencing the worst drought on record and are running out of water. It is a vast country and not everyone is experiencing the same significant weather events at the same time. Um, and because we cover um, quite a large proportion of the country, this is actually really challenging for us as an organisation to continue to be prepared um, for whatever that might look like. Tell us about the situation with mice. It's, I believe, a mouse infestation. It hasn't been declared an actual plague. Why is this? So, I mean, we are seeing vision here, which is uh, frightening. Um, so, we've been in contact with the mayor at Coonamble, um, and this is horrendous. Uh, the stories from out in regional New South Wales are, uh, are shocking. Um, we've had one farmer who has managed to destroy 35,000 mice in less than 10 weeks. Uh, the pharmacies had to be closed because the mice are in the, in the chemist. Um, they're eating the foundations of the houses um, and eating cars. This is, this is not just a, um, a couple of mice running around. It's a plague. And we really need the government to declare it a plague so the funding and the local land councils can get assistance to towns like Canamble who are desperately overrun um, at the moment. The ground moves. Is it a product of, uh, of the drought? Yeah, it is actually. So you've had um, the perfect conditions where you've had a drought for six, seven years, and then you've actually had a really good season. So farmers are doing the, the right thing and trying to 
uh, stockpile feed uh, and in doing some incredible harvests and silos and stockpiling feed, it's the perfect condition for mice um, and they breed every 15 days. So um, they're quite good reproducers. Um, so it doesn't take long for um, 100 mice to turn into 600 mice. And how fast are they spreading, Janine? <laughs> uh, Mind-bogglingly fast. I am really hopeful that the drought may, uh, the sorry, the flood um, may slow some of that down. Um, but they're going as far as the Queensland border and down to Victoria, um, and it won't be long before they're in Sydney homes. Yeah, most people don't want to see one, let alone many, uh, of uh, the old rodents now. How can people help farmers still in desperate need of uh, a whole lot of stuff? Obviously, no international travellers coming in to help pick mm -hmm. fruit, et cetera, et cetera. Well, we're in desperate need for people to volunteer in um, regional and remote New South Wales and Queensland. Um, at the moment, you know, we've got probably 80 urgent jobs that we need to fill. Uh, but it, it, volunteering in these conditions is not for everybody um, by any stretch. Um, so we'd love for people to donate um, to Frontier Service. Just go to www.frontierservices.org. Um, but if you do have the time to help, um, please reach out. There are lots of people at the moment who are really, really doing it tough. It may not be Frontier Services that you come and help, but I would suggest uh, volunteer your time talents with uh, uh, with somebody to help clean up after the floods, fires um, and drought. You know, there are lots of people that really need us right now. So they get in contact with you and perhaps maybe you and your family, uh, you know, they've got a couple of weeks during school holidays. You could uh, just organise to go and stay at a farm perhaps and, and help that family with whatever they need and which would be great as well for perhaps city people to experience what's going on in the farm and give them a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. Look, there's lots of people that need us. Um, whatever your, your gifts or talents may be, uh, in the cleanup, we're obvious, and the rebuilds, anybody that's got any uh, specific trades would be really helpful. Um, you know, there's kilometres and kilometres of fences that we still need to fix, um, houses that we're rebuilding down in the snowy regions. Um, the list is long. So um, my plea is if you can help, please, um, we'd love your, we'd absolutely love your help. That number, 1300 787 247. And thank you so much, Janine Jackson, uh, National Director of Frontier Services. Thanks so much, Janie and Tim.